All right, guys, remember to like the videos, like, sub, silly comment, share, support the channel if you want to support the channel. A little bit more of me talking over some footage about Vegito pressure. And before I start, of course, I can't believe some people in the Discord are actually still trying to act like this is fake, like I hacked the game and it's not real. And then I also saw some guy trying to say that this only works if a guy is ducking, so I'll put in a few footage of clips or whatever of the guy standing and it working. Like, Jesus Christ, just remember, you guys have never done anything in this game without me. Anyway, so what am I going to show today? Some other caveats as I talk over this. So, you know, we got this theoretical sweet spot where we get the dude at that range of the far orb and then we are manipulating everything with a bug to try to make it as real as possible. So if the guy ever does try to get out, he gets hit no matter what, right? So let's look at some other things we can do from this range. Well, one of the things you can actually do with this bug is you can use the big throw from it. And the big throw is actually safe from a homing dash or the reversal homing dash, right? You know what I mean? So either or, right? It's safe from a homie dash even right up in the opponent's junk. Depending on the opponent, actually, you know, even if they were to try to too hard slash you, whatever, after it, you're safe. Also, unlike the Banshee Blast, where as when we make that safe, we can't do anything besides a Banshee Blast install or a level three to punish if the opponent were to technically, you know, get that reversal through before the bug actually occurs. You know what I mean? So then if the guy were to actually get through that, when we block that, I showed you can reversal throw. But that is technically not guaranteed because the opponent can backdash. But when you do this bug into the big throw, you actually recover in time to do another big throw, which is guaranteed. You know, and so this is just showing that, you know, big throw in the air is not actually frame one invincible. So you can't do it off those Banshee Blasts, the safe versions of that. But you can do it off of safe big throw stuff, okay? Anyway, so also unlike the Banshee Blast stuff, which is vulnerable to that single frame before the bug happens, which is exactly why you need to randomly do a Sasuke kick to keep the opponents honest, even assuming if they were to hit the reversal homing dash, which, you know, is a guess at that point, even if the guy commits to that, well, the throw still beats both automatically. So no matter what, no matter if the opponent gets the reversal before the bug occurs, or if the bug happens and they try to get it, no matter what, the guy automatically gets grabbed if they try to homing dash. So we can see this works from every distance, and we can also see it sets up a lot of sweet spots, you know, so to speak, whatever we're doing. Or if we're just being annoying and neutral, dashing in and out, you know what I mean, harassing the guy, you know. And then once the dude respects us, you know what I mean, you know, we can fall down, do some other stuff. We have this mid-range sweet spot going over and over again, blah, blah, whatever we want to do, right? Well, the big caveat and problem to this, the big flaw, is although it is seemingly the safest option to be annoying while being safe, it's actually totally open to just the guy doing nothing but waiting there for you to do it and then running up and jumping and comboing you. So I guess just showing this off, you know, because caveats about this pressure. So sadly, at the end of the day, I kind of feel like this shows the hypocritical nature of the game because it's a tag team game that dis discourages team synergy you know what I mean? But then at the same time, how are you going to do this specific thing without, you know, a tag or something like that? Or at least the threat of an assist backing you up, if you will, right? So anyway, like at this point, I feel like you're, you're really just kind of hoping that the guy is slower to react, you know what I mean, to this kind of stuff. Because again, at first glance, although this might seem like the safest option and the most annoying thing, when you actually look at it, it's more of just an asterisk mark of something you can do because you know, really hard to believe that this is going to work if a guy is not slow. Or if the guy if the guy, if the guy has to be slow to make it work. That's what I'm getting. Or you, the fear of assist backing you up, so to speak, right? So anyway, that's why I always lean towards, you know what I mean, do the Banshee Blast stuff, you know what I mean, with the random sassy kicks in between or the random normals, the stutter step normals, because, you know, at least if the opponent is going to try to get out of that, they have to guess. And they got to get a reversal, a just frame reversal to get out of it, right? Whereas this stuff, although it is annoying and it is 100% safe to homing dash, well, it's actually completely punishable if the guy doesn't do anything, though. So, again, asterisk mark. Another thing I want to show just for reference, if you look at the frames of how low to the ground, the lowest to the ground Banshee Blast is, comparatively to a regular Banshee Blast, you know, from this sort of sweet spot range, you can get, you know, a plus 12, you know what I mean? But 
that's a little hard to get it always that low to have that kind of execution. But, you know, getting 10 is pretty realistic. So, you know, if we compare this to the regular version, it tends to hit about four to five frames faster if you're curious. So again, just putting this out there in case you wanted to see the actual frame data yourself and get an idea of the advantage this gives you over the other if you're doing this as low to the ground as possible, right? And as you can see here, coincidentally enough, serendipitously, it also sets you up for that perfect space, even stand medium. So again, all this stuff flows pretty well into each other. You're always at that sweet spot kind of thing, right? And of course, you know, you can do this from Falling Banshee Blast as well. Always kind of gives you that sweet spot range, right? And, you know, you could even do the Falling Banshee Blast, like I said, but how realistic that is, you know what I mean? I think that's more realistic if the guy is, you know, after they reflected you into reset pressure, but there it is. Anyway, other than that, I don't know much to say other than just speaking over this footage. Um, I guess for what it's worth, if you're curious, is there any other ways to do the Fireball Bug with Vegito from, say, the Banshee Blast to actually make it useful? I'd say not really. I mean, you can't really do cross-up lightsaber stuff. To make it useful because it's just too difficult it's not very realistic and the height that you got to do it at um the fireball hits so late you can't get that just frame reversal you know what i mean you have to actually give the guy you know like a, quite a few frames before the bug occurs so i don't see it being that useful versus bigger characters you actually can do a standing version on them but the caveat to that is the guy has to be standing so how realistic is that but Kind of a moot point, but technically there.